Now, all the other reading devices out, that are out there, such as the Barnes & Noble Nook and the Kobo Reader um, and some other devices out there, utilize a piece of software called Adobe Digital Editions. This one does not. Huh. Sony, again, trying to be really convenient, worked with Adobe and said, hey, we want to work with you and license with you and make our own product that works like Adobe Digital Editions. But it's our own thing, and that's what it is. When you connect this device, and don't worry, it's actually already preloaded on here. In the instructions um, for this device on the web page, in the instructions when you open it up, it actually talks about you need this piece of software called the Sony Reader Library. The nice thing is when the customer gets this, when they connect their device to their computer for the first time, Mac or PC, it actually says, I'm going to install Sony Reader. Oh, the customer says yes, it installs it for them. It is, in essence, its own Adobe ID, which we're going to talk about for that device. An Adobe ID, it's like customers will say, why do I need an Adobe ID? Has anyone seen those videos yet online where I talk about Adobe ID? If you have, okay, wonderful. If you haven't yet, check it out. Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk about it right here, but I'll mention it. Adobe ID is kind of like a digital flag. Um, you, you sign up at adobe.com, and basically you set up with an email and then a password. So it's like george at gmail.com. Yay, I've got Adobe ID. It is, again, the way the publishers protect their information. You can only have six activations. So again, check out those websites, uh, those videos online. I've got a little demonstration of how I talk about um, how I talk about that. It's really helpful. Now, following these instructions right online, what you'll want to do is and most likely your devices will be connected at all times. What kind of connection is that? Is there a name for that? It's a USB connection. Okay. This is a mini USB. There's lots of different names for it. Boop, boop. And as I connect it. The computer will go. It'll make a nice sound. And then up pops this little, little program. Again, you'll want to tell the customer, this is already installed. When you first connect your device, it'll ask you to install the software. Go ahead and do that. Okay. Now, when it opens up the software, you've got your reader right, right here. I'm going to click on it. Oh, I've already got some files on here. There's some ebooks again. This is again make a, a, an example or a description or a parallel. This is kind of like the iTunes for library ebooks for the Sony. So when you download ebooks to your computer um, and you have a Sony, this is where it, again it downloads this big file and then it opens up. Hello, I'm a beautiful flower. This is the program that will kind of open it up. If you download it without this software, it's it's a big lock. It, it just downloads the computer and it's like I don't know what to do with this. What do I do? Ha, ha, ha. But with this software it opens up and you can actually read it. And again, it's specifically licensed with Adobe, so it will work and it will open up. And you can play MP3s on the Unfortunately, no. Daily Reader? Oh, okay. I just I again, saw they were in there. But yeah. yeah. Or maybe you can. I don't know. Can you, Maria? No. So with the Sony Reader, you don't need an Adobe ID. It's no. already built in. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. It is specifically built in, which is really, a, it's a very unique situation. It is its own ID. So an example, we check this out. I'm going to go ahead and press download. Now, because there's the Sony Reader Library and Adobe Digital Editions on your computer, your staff computer, you're going to tell the customer, I have to do something a little different. You're going to follow these instructions. Um, because if I press open here, it would open up in Adobe Digital Editions. Um, so what I need to do is save it to the computer on the desktop. And again, if you're helping someone over the phone or if you're sharing the instructions with a customer, you're not going to do this for them. <laughs> you're going to say, follow the instructions. Normally, on their home PC or Mac, they would just press open, and it would, again, automatically open up in Sony Reader Library, and then they could transfer it. But on this situation, for what you have, again, Adobe Digital Editions and Sony Reader Library are like the same thing. If they're on the same computer, they're like, I want that file, and it freaks out. It's like, oh, no, I can't work. It gets really confused. So what you need to do for your example, and by the way, I'm going to write this up and email it to you, so you have it written down. No worries. The quick trick for this, and again, the biggest thing is literally the drag and drop. That's one of the biggest things the customer needs to see. We're going to drag and drop this file I just downloaded, which is a book, and I'm going to just place it on top of the reader library. Watch this. Boink! And its status, it's thinking, because it's got a brain. It's thinking, it's thinking, it's a wonderful toy. Yay, there it is. A storm of swords or S-words. Swords, anyway. Uh, so what you want to do, when the customer says, well, how do I transfer it? I download it. Yay! And this is good. It's actually that tulip that went, yay! I'm a wonderful flower. You can be wonderful. 
Oh, you wanna a good one? Which one about it? You need on a sandwich. No, you can open, actually physically, you can actually open the book, not physically, virtually. You can open the book, read it, it's pretty fun. Um, there it is, yay! Uh, but you can also, I'm gonna go back to this library view. And again, these weren't designed by librarians, I'm so sorry. Sony's gonna email me, you're mean to me, oh, don't make fun of me. Anyway, now you've got the, the Storm of Swords. I wanna transfer it on my e-reader, you can. This has been activated already. The nice thing is, too, when a customer comes in, it won't even allow them to transfer it um, on a, one of these devices. It'll say, oh, no, you need to activate the Adobe ID. Ah, it won't work. Ah, you've got all these error messages. After that, you can start styling them. Did you install the software correctly? Did you get an Adobe ID? Blah, 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 blah. But again, for this device, you don't have to. Now to transfer it again, this is beautifully written uh, on the instructions. You can transfer it, left click, drag, and drop. And look, there's a little plus sign. I think it even says that in instructions. And release the hounds. Oh! It's status. It's thinking. It's thinking. It's a wonderful toy. It's about to work on a boy. Um, then, okay, it's status. It's thinking. It's thinking. You can click on your e reader and see if it transfers. And again, this is kind of like a flash drive when a customer, again, make parallels. When you connect this, it's almost like a flash drive. You can actually look at the, the files that are on the device. Again, make those parallels, make those examples. Um, sword, where's my sword? Is it there? Mm -hmm. How okay. long does it usually take to download? Oh, it is. is it already downloaded the entire thing? It is. is it usually, okay, so That's a great question, fast. Ryan. You know these, uh, all these e-reader files? Mm -hmm. They're actually quite small. Okay, yeah, I saw those only like Which is great. Megabytes, yeah. That's another situation when it's an audio file. Yeah, they're, it takes a long time. they're huge. They're like 500 megs sometimes, or yeah. 300 megs. They're, it takes a while. Okay. Luckily, these are text-based, most so likely, good. unless it's okay. a child, the picture books, which right. has more images, okay. which is larger. Yeah. Sometimes it just takes a second. But again, it did take more than three seconds no, yeah, to download. It's, fast. It's, yeah. it's fairly fast. And that's on our wireless network. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. And, and that's, a common, that's a common question. It's taking a long time to download. And mm -hmm. again, you can say, it depends on the file. Yeah. Uh, audiobooks are a lot longer. And that's the wireless, the connection. And the, and the connection. It's a great point. Some people are utilizing dial-up. It might take yeah. a little bit longer. Um, again, nice thing is, this is a text file. Now it's literally completely safe. Because I'm not transferring anything, you know, you can always say, okay, I'm going to close up. We're done. Yay. You can disconnect. And this is a very unique device. You can't charge it and read it at the same time when it's connected to the computer. Most you can. Again, it's Sony. It's a little different. You'll learn these things as you play with them, but now I'm going to disconnect it. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's thinking.